Hey friends, it's Brian here and I'm working on my junkie truck again. Um, no, nah, I'm seriously, uh, I'm doing a little more wiring work. Um, so, one of these is the engine temperature sensor and the other is the temperature warning light. So the red and white is the temperature warning light and it comes all the way back and then we bring it back to this one and in the harness they loop so what I'm going to do is move I'm going to relabel red and white now that we know what it is and I'm going to move it over to water temp what they do is short out the temperature sender to indicate an overheat condition eh, easy enough to fix um, and then the red and white is actually coming off the harness is actually our water um, our fuel restriction um, sender which goes there so I'm going to run that wire and that that's the project for right now So now that we know that's the overheat, love to know the story for why it was done this way, but I'm sure there is one. Okay, so that, that brings that together, and then let's put this screw back so we don't lose it. And let me figure out what color I'm going to use. So now I got to rebundle this harness. And I don't have to. I could be lazy, but that would probably annoy me at some point down the road when I need to work on this. So I'm going to go ahead and just fix it.
And that makes a nice, you know, compact cable. It's not hard, it's just tedious. So now I'll take off the next couple, add them to the stack of bad tape. Part of the problem with this truck, whoever worked on it in the past didn't have the patience or the skills or the knowledge to do this correctly. And while this doesn't seem like a big deal, taking time to protect your wires from mechanical damage is what stops you from being or making unscheduled stops on the side of the road. Or worse. You know, it's possible to not realize something is wrong and blow up your engine. The reason why this stuff's here. So this is just the inner bundle. It'll still get an outer bundle. So that just needs to be heated up. In case you're watching this and you're like, why didn't he just rip the tape? This tape doesn't rip. So it is not an OCD thing. It is a because it must.
Now, if you'd like to make labels like this, I will put a link in the description to the labeler I'm using. Works really well for this kind of situation. I think one more spot needs to be taped. So that's good for now. This will keep this out of harm's way. This is enough room to work. All right, All right well, um, I've kind of run out of daylight and it's starting to lightning, so I'm gonna stop for the evening. Um, the next project is to get the glow plug harness built and I wanna do something different and durable and better, so. You wouldn't expect anything less, would you? We're going to make this junky truck great again. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments.